Welcome to lecture number 10 in Smarin and Web Travel in Java. In this lecture, you will learn about synchronization in Selenium. Like how to add the synchronization points, how to wait for a page to load, how to wait for elements to become visible, and all that stuff. So, uh, let us start with page load timeout. So, normally, what happens is that uh, when you try to navigate to particular URL service one, a web page may take longer than longer to load and that's why it may fail your test so if you want to set the timeout uh, say maximum timeout say like 60 seconds or 50 seconds for the page to load you can set it by using this index driver dot manage dot timeouts dot page load timeout and here you can give the timeout seconds minute or seconds so what will happen is it will wait for the page to load for 60 seconds and if page doesn't load uh, even after 60 seconds then it will throw the exception so before that let me just put one and then execute this program you can see that the test has failed and uh, the main reason why the test has failed is because of that page taking more time to load so if you look at the exception what it is saying is that timed out to receiving the message from the renderer cannot determine the loading status it increase the timeout to say 10 seconds or say 5 seconds and then let us see once again how it works As you can see it is trying to navigate to that URL and since the web page is not loaded within five seconds it has thrown the exception saying timeout exception cannot determine the loading status so you may get this so normally people put uh, the load time as 60 seconds because Sometimes because of low network speed or internet speed some pages may take um, a lot of time to download uh, or uh, load and sometimes if the web page contains lots of big images then also are the external resources then also it takes a lot of time to for the page to load and that's when that is why you should keep the maximum uh, time out as 60 seconds or more than that and that is how you can add the synchronization if you do not put the maximum timeout as if you put say 10 seconds 15 seconds there is a high possibility that your tests will fail with this exception so avoid uh, giving the very uh, low page load timeout now next thing is implicit timeout so what happens is that when uh, you try to identify any element for example over here you are trying to identify this element suppose uh, that web page is not loaded or that element is not loaded when you are trying to execute this statement the test will fail if you want uh, like uh, selenium to wait for that element to load for a specific timeout then you can specify that one using explicit timeout and syntax for this is driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit wait implicitly wait here you can specify the timeout say we want to wait for say 10 seconds and if the element is not found within 10 seconds then our test will fail 
otherwise our test will continue to run so here we are trying to identify the element with the name password and that element if it is found it within 10 seconds what will happen is uh, like enter the data in that one so let us put uh, one first of all and then execute this program so when you set this implicitly wait uh, timeout it is at the driver level it means that it is applicable for the all elements like right now we have said it is one seconds that means it will wait for one second for any element to load so whenever you use the find element method it will take into consideration this timeout and then work accordingly now it will navigate to that particular url then it will enter that one in the password field and that is what we wanted so let us close this browser now that element uh, that uh, password element was available there as soon as the web page was loaded but in certain scenarios especially when the ajax call is made it is the elements are loaded dynamically on the web page and that's why some elements may take more time to load and some elements may may be present on the act already loaded page so at that point of time the simplicity weight comes into picture so put it as maximum as possible like say 10 second or 20 seconds and then what will happen is uh, this surname will wait for that element to appear for that much time out so this is implicit weight implicit weight when you said it what happens is a cell name will wait for that much amount of time and if the element is not found even after that time i would say 20 seconds the exception will be thrown saying that no such element exception but in uh, real life uh, projects or the websites there is a possibility that say 80 percent of the elements will be loaded immediately say within 20 seconds but there are some 20 percent of the elements that are not loaded within that 20 seconds so you have to wait for that particular element to appear so what you can do is you can increase this timeout say 60 seconds and then what will happen is your cell name script will wait for 60 seconds for any element to appear but the drawback with this method is that you are unnecessarily waiting for that much amount of time for every element so that is when explicitly uh, explicit weight conditions come into picture like you can specify for specific element like okay this element is gonna take a lot of time so at that in that case you can use explicit weight conditions and for that uh, explicit uh, weights can be used using a new web driver weight this this class can be used for that and over there you have passed the driver and then here you have to give the timeout in seconds and then you have to use until method in until method you have to use this expected conditions and in the expected conditions you can specify the various conditions like if you want to wait for title to become a specific title then if you want uh, for for element to if you want uh, until the presence of element uh, located by specific uh, expert or css and if you want to wait for such element for specific seconds you can specify that one say this element you know it's gonna take a lot of time you can put over there 60 seconds and then your code will wait for that much amount of time and then element will be written and once the element is written you can perform the operations on it so that is all about the explicit weight conditions and you can have multiple explicit explicit one can uh, explicit conditions like 
attribute contains attribute to be attribute to be not empty element to be clickable there are lots of conditions like that invisibility of element located visibility of element located number of elements to be number of elements uh, to be more than etc presence of all element located all these conditions are there and if the condition is true within this timeout then uh, your code will continue to run otherwise exception is thrown for example here we are waiting for the title to become this welcome mercury tours but if it doesn't become within 20 10 seconds then exception will be thrown so that is how you can use this implicit weight explicit weights uh, in selenium and this is very important because 80% of the Selenium tests fail because of poor synchronization logic. So make sure that you have got all these concepts very clear. The, you have to use this page load timeout at the beginning of the script and this is apply, applicable to all the web pages that the Selenium is going to open. Then the implicit timeout, this is also very important because if element is not found within specific time, Selenium is going to throw the exception. So you can increase this implicit timeout so that selenium will wait for that particular time to for element to appear and in explicit conditions uh, you can this implicit uh, conditions or implicit timeout is at the driver level it, it means it is applicable for the all elements uh, that selenium is gonna work with but in explicit conditions you can uh, specify specific condition on the specific element so it is not applicable to all the elements on the web page or web application so that is the main difference between implicit and explicit timeouts i hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture and looking forward to you joining in another lecture thank you for watching this video